Good day. Today we are going to discuss science sorting in fish farming. What is science sorting? It is essentially the separation of fish into different groups according to their size. Usually this is done several times with each batch of fish from incubation or hatching through to marketing the fish. Why do we need to size sort the fish? There are several reasons for this. First of these is to remove the runts or the slowest growing fish. These fish grow much slower than the average fish and therefore it's best to remove them because they waste infrastructure. We also want to remove the shoots or the super fast growing fish as these fish outcompete their um, cohort mates and they may even cannibalize on them. We find if we have fish of a similar size per batch, per tank, or per pond, or per cage, then we find we get better performance by the fish. They eat the same size feed, they have the same protein requirement in their diet, they don't outcompete each other as easily, etc, etc. How do we go about size sorting? First of all, it's important to purge the fish. By purging, we mean don't feed the fish on the day that size sorting is to be done. Now, for small fish, fry particularly, but even fingerlings, they need to be fed many times per day. So it's important to purge them early in the morning, but don't feed them prior to purging. Larger fish can be purged later in the day without a, a problem. The second major step is to prepare all our equipment. The equipment that you will require depends on your situation, but largely there will be overlap between different situations. You will need the tank of fish that are going to be sorted, and these are the fish that have not been fed on the day of sorting. You will also need a table to place all the equipment on, particularly the scale, so that it's at a convenient working height. If you're working with concrete tanks, then the side wall of the tank will often be thick enough or wide enough to place the scale on that. You'll also need a scale. Uh, generally speaking, we use a scale that can weigh up to a maximum of 30 kilograms and weigh in increments of 0.1 gram. That's plenty of accuracy. You don't need more than that for, unless you're dealing with really, really tiny fish. You'll also need two buckets, one to place on the scale, the other one to move fish or water around. You'll need two plastic basins, large enough that either of them can hold the majority of the fish from the fish tank. Each basin will require aeration as well, unless you are farming catfish or air breathing species. You'll also need two nets. Have a look at the video clip on catching fish and you'll see that I recommend using two nets. If they're small fish, one net would be adequate, but with larger fish, two nets is less stressful than one. You'll also need the size sorter. Often what happens is you use multiple size sorters to sort the fish into multiple batches. Uh, so you'd have the large fish, the medium sized fish and the small sized fish. That requires two different size sorters. In this instance, I'm just going to demonstrate one size sorting for you. So we're using one size sorter. You also need a clipboard, a record sheet and a pen. Now the record sheet would typically look as follows. This is an example of a record sheet for a company called Deepwater Produce. In the first block where I've put the capital A that is in italics and in a gray font, obviously you'd put in the date. B would be the number of the tank that is being sorted. C would be the batch number. Bear in mind that the batch number is the unique code allocated to each spawning group and that remains with that group forever. So once we size sort the fish, the same batch obviously will result in two or three groups of fish, but the same batch number will always apply. Then we go down to the different groups and you'll see I've based this on three groups, obviously you could have more. Within each group, you have a sample number or D, that is the number of fish per sample. We'll get onto this in a moment. Then you have the sample mass. So when you collect a sample of fish, you count them and you weigh them. 
If this is being done electronically, F would be a formula and it would give you the answer of the average mass in grams per fish automatically. However, on a sheet like this, a written sheet, that would typically be done manually or wouldn't be put in at all. It would be left for the, the spreadsheet. G is then the total mass of all the fish per batch. Now, the batch is after sorting, you end up with let's say, fast-growing fish and medium-growing fish, each batch would be a group. Let's say group one is the medium-growing fish. That would The total mass of all of those fish would be number G. Let's say the fast-growing fish are group two, so the corresponding total mass would be the total mass of all the fish in group two. H is then the total number of fish, and once again, that is a formula of the total mass divided by the average mass, which gives you the number of fish. And I is the destination tank to which that group of fish was moved. Note that we don't add fish from different batches to the same tank, except in very unusual circumstances. The practical size sorting of the fish starts next. We have all our equipment ready to go. We place the two basins on the floor in front of the fish tank containing the fish that are to be sorted. Water is transferred by bucket or with a siphon pipe from the tank to each of the basins so that there's a reasonable depth of water, 10, 20 centimeters in each basin and aeration is added to that basin. Place the size sorter in basin A, scoop, a moderate quantity. You're aiming for about 30 to 50 fish. You're not aiming for hundreds of fish. You're not aiming for five fish. And place them inside the size sorter. When transferring the fish, I like to hold my hand above the fish to constrict the net above the fish so that the fish can't jump out while being transferred. Place the fish inside the size sorter and then slowly lift and lower the size sorter repeatedly within the water and slightly out of the water so that it encourages the smaller fish to swim through between the parallel bars and the larger fish then remain above the bars. Once it appears that there are no longer any fish swimming through to the below the bars, transfer the larger fish by tipping the size sorter across to the basin next door. And we continue in this manner until all the fish have been scooped out of the original fish tank, placed into the size sorter, size sorted and divided between the two basins. As soon as you have finished size sorting, we then need to count the fish in each batch. We start with group two, which is typically the larger fish. The reason being these are the more valuable fish because they're faster growing. Place a bucket on the scale. Add a small amount of water to the bucket, 500 mils or so, depending on the size of the fish, and zero the scale. Then randomly select about 30 or 50 fish from group two. Shake all the water off. Count the fish across. So you're counting them individually across from the net into the bucket. And again, you need a sample of about 30 to 50 fish in this instance. Once you've got in the region of 30 to 50 fish, get a mass, record the mass and record the number of fish for group two. Then we keep adding fish from the group two basin to the bucket. Once there are a comfortable maximum number of fish in the bucket, record the weight, tip the bucket into the destination tank where group two's fish are headed. Place a bit more water in the bucket, zero the scale, scoop more fish from the group two basin, play, shake off the water, place them into the bucket. Repeat that until you have weighed all the fish from the group two basin. At this point, we then repeat the exercise for group one, where counting a sample, weighing the sample, then weighing all the fish in that group and transferring them to the group two destination tank. Now we have completed the exercise. The fish from the original tank have been sorted into two sizes. We know the average weight of the fish from the sample which we counted and weighed. We know the total mass of fish in that tank, dividing the total mass by the 
average weight gives us approximation of the number of fish in each group. This is then charted and recorded in our spreadsheet. Size sorting is something that is done fairly frequently with pre predatory fish and possibly less frequently with, with non-predatory fish. The risk being that predatory species will quickly prey on each other if there's a difference in size. However, there are obviously advantages to size sorting non-predatory fish as well in the sense that the performance of the fish is better if they are regularly sorted into similar sized groups.